Hi, this is John from johnisberg.com. Time for another tutorial. In this case, we're going to be working with a crop tool. So, let's uh, hit the R key and we jump into a crop. Alright, so yeah, I already have some of a crop already established. I want to reset it. I'm going to hit Control Shift R. Alright, I'll go back to, f to the full piece. And let's say I don't want to work with this aspect ratio. I can come over here into the panel. I can select, let's say I wanted to work with an 8 by 10 go back to there, or if I wanted to print back uh, on a 5 by 7 there we go, or in this case let's just say I'm going to do an initial print and I'm going to go with a small 4 by 6 alright, that's fine. Alright, now my flower is at the center of my image and I'd like to zoom in on that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Alt and left click and start dragging from a corner it'll maintain that crop to the center of the image okay hit control Z I'm gonna go back of course my other option is I can come in and I can drag from a corner let's say I wanted to have this this stem for some reason to be centered on the image I'd hold down control and next thing I know I get my straightening tool I left click and it will crop and rotate for me alright so Control Shift R, go back to my starting point again, and in this case, I want to change my grid. I want to get rid of that standard grid, and I want to go to something else. So here's standard grid. Oh, hit the R key, wrong button. It's all right. Thankfully, Adobe doesn't affect it, affect anything with a permanent change. So right, in this case, we're going to try the O key. All right, there I go into thirds golden ratio, diagonals, triangles, and the golden spiral. Now let's say you didn't like your orientation of golden spiral. Hit shift O, it will rotate for you. Excellent. Let's go back, hitting O some more, and I'm going to go to the triangles. I want to change my orientation there. Once again, it's shift O. Very simple. Now, personally, I like to work with the golden ratio. So I'm going to hold down my Alt key. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to drag my image until I get it in a position that I like, that I feel appropriate. As you see, I'm using my grid. And I think of the grid as nothing more than a mask. And if I'm done and I'm happy with things, I can double click on the image or I can just hit the Enter key. Bingo crops done looks good all right so i hope you enjoyed this and i'm looking forward to seeing you again